Hey, what's up guys? I have got a super simple, somewhat useful project for you today. What we've got here is a Nano and OLED and the ADXL335, which is a three axis digital accelerometer. Let me uh, pull this out here and show it to you. If it wants to come out, geez. Okay. So there it is, and it's showing you the X, Y, and Z axes. And then on the back here, you can see the pinout for it. Nothing complicated here at all. This is just outputting analog values so the hookup for it is we have whoops let's uh get our focus back positive going to five volts ground going to ground our x goes over here to a0 our y goes to a1 and our z goes to a2 and for today's project the digital spirit level we're really only going to be reading the X value, but they're all hooked up because in a future version of this, I intend to use all of those. So let's go look at the code. It's incredibly simple. And then we'll check it out in action. All right, here is the code for my digital spirit level. And this is version 0.5. Because right now we're only doing the x-axis in the upcoming version. We're going to do the x and the y-axis. And we're going to use the uh, library draw functions for that. But for now, this is just the x-axis. So libraries. We have the wire library for the OLED. And we also have the Adafruit SSD 1306, which is the driver for the OLED. In defines, we have OLED reset on four, which is used by the library, but we're not using it. Then our objects, Adafruit SSD 1306, we're creating an instance called display using the argument OLED reset. We have our variables. They are all float type. X0, which is the initial reading of X, giving us our zero point. Same for Y. Then we have a current version of X called X now and a current version of Y called Y now. In our setup, we start the display using the display begin with these two arguments. Then we do these two lines just to clear the display out. And then we're going to wait one second to make sure there's no movement of the board. And then we do an analog read of A0 for our X value 0, analog read of A1 for our Y value 0, and we're going to wait one second before beginning the program. Now down here in the main loop, we get our current values of X and Y by reading A0 and A1 again. Then we do a little bit of screen setup here we drop down to the bottom one-third of the screen and here is the very simple program logic we say if X now is less than X 0 minus 5 that's giving us a little buffer zone because those analog values always tend to bounce around a little bit then we're going to print this little guy right here which says it's leaning to the left then we do an else if X now is greater than X0 plus 5, again giving us a little buffer zone. We print this saying it's leaning to the right. And if it is not leaning to the left or leaning to the right, it must be level. So we print our level symbol. We wait one half second just to stabilize things. We display everything we just sent to the buffer. And then we clear the display. 
So that's my proof of concept of this, so I know it works. Next, we will add in the Y function, and we'll do a basic uh, targeting for level in the X and Y directions. But that's it for right now. Let's take a look at how it works. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to power it up. Once you power it up, it waits a second, and then it reads its zero values, and then it's going to wait another second. And you can see here that we have our line, an indicator, and an X in the middle of the indicator. Let me zoom in here so you can see it better. And if we tilt it, it gives us an indication of which way we need to go to go back to zero. And like I said, for right now, we're only reading the X value. But what I'm going to do in the next version is I'm going to read the Y value as well. And I'm going to use the draw functions from the Adafruit library to draw a circle in the center of the screen, an empty circle, and then a filled circle that corresponds to the position. And when the filled circle appears within the empty circle, you'll know you are level in two axes. So that's it. Pretty simple project. You can whip this up in a few minutes. Uh, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, share, comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? I'll see you next time.